Hello, Bob Hughes here with JD Squared, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Sheet Cam for use with your Mad Plasma machine. First thing you'll need to do is obtain the latest um, version of Sheet Cam from their website, or possibly we could email it to you, and go ahead and install that onto your computer. When you open it up, you'll see what we have here in front of us, and the very first thing you're going to need to do is install your license file. In order to do that, select Help, Install License File it will come up asking you where this license file is at. Now, before we go on with that, I want to talk to you a little bit about your documents folder here. We created three folders inside this, um, inside your documents folder that we can manipulate without administrative properties or, or, or permission. And what I mean by that is if we had put these folders on your C drive, we would have to be an administrator on your computer in order to work with those files and you're not going to want to make us an administrator. So we use the documents folder exclusively just for that reason. Inside that folder we have created three other folders. The first, Mad Tools right here, is where we're storing our tool definitions for your cutter and everything. And as you can see some over here on the left side right here. If we go down, the second one is an NC folder and this is where the G code that sheet cam's going to put out and drawing files things like that this is where we have it set up to store these at now another little hint right here that might help you out is i myself don't like opening up explorer every time i want to get into that folder and have to navigate down through the tree so if you'd like to create a shortcut like i did to your desktop you can do that easily by holding down your alt key on your keyboard pressing the left button on your mouse and holding it down and then just dragging it up to or wherever you want it on your desktop and then letting go of the mouse and it will put a copy there and now you have a convenient way to get to those files. If you see here the third and final folder is the sheet cam machines folder and inside that we're going to put template definitions for different machines and other files. Let's go ahead and double click on it. Now when you receive your license file um, that's what we're going to want to open up the location of it. It could be on your computer, your desktop, anywhere. What I did to make this video a little easier to understand, I went ahead and just copied my file into that sheet cam machines folder and there it is. That's my license file. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit OK and it says the license has been installed successfully. If I go to help about, it uh, does show indeed that it is installed through Robert Hughes. All right, the next thing we're going to need to do is tell Sheet Cam what machine you have. Let's go over here to File, and we're going to open a job template. It's going to open up the folder, and obviously you see it's in Documents, and it's in the folder Sheet Cam Machines, and currently there's three files there, a MAD 4x4, 4x8, 5x10. Let's just pretend for this video we have a 4x4 machine, and we're going to select that, and we're going to say Open. Now if you notice the gray area in the background changed to a square because our 4x4 machine happens to be a square table and this is representing the table of, of, of what the table that you have. Now let's go see what you know open a job template what did it set in sheet cam. If we go to the options tab up here first thing we want to do is let's select the machine. In this one here we have machine type and we have selected jet cutting because we are a plasma. If you go to the post processor tab, you'll notice it, we have set it for inches because we're in the US. We've said the top of the work is Z0, and we have remembered the last place we put our files, which is probably going to be that NC folder we discussed earlier. Now, if you look down here in post processor, it has JD2 MAD pre selected. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple things real quick about the post while we're here. Let's click on the, the post the selector here and if you notice you got all kinds of different posts here you have mad and you have mad edited you're going to want to select the mad one so what is the mad edited one right here if we go back to mad if i would wish to edit that post and here's your post right here like this is the commands that if we edited it it would now default to the mad edited post. That's the one that would be using, and we do not want to use that. And the reason you have an edited one, or I have an edited one on my computer anyway, is because I'm the one responsible for editing the post and um, improving it. Therefore, I have an edited version. You probably won't, but if you do see an edited one, do not select it. Select this one right here. Now, real quick, where is it getting these posts? Let's say we send you the latest version of the post. 
what we would like for you to do is take that post from your email and copy it into this sheet cam machines folder and there it is right there jd2 mad sc post sheet cam post if we were going to import a new post or i'm sorry if we want to use that post we could go back up here we have the post right here and we're going to have to or you're going to have to install this into the the folder where sheet cam is it's going to be on the c drive in the programs x86 folder and if we scroll on down um uh, where to go there's sheet cam right here tng development and here's the post folder you would drag this folder over to that post folder hold down the control key so you just make a copy of it to it and let go of it it'll say you want to replace it sure you do now here we are we need administrative privileges to do that and that's what we talked about earlier just go in and select continue and you have now updated your post so we've got the post out of the hand the, uh, out of out of the way the next tab is working envelope and this is describing the size of your machine 48 by 48 table display the same thing so let's go ahead and select ok other things that have been set under the option tab is going to be um, application options the only two things we really care about in this folder are units. In our case, we've got inches and inches per minute. And the other thing we care about is default directories. Now, if you notice, they've all been set to the documents folder that we talked about, MAD tools, NC, etc. And that's something you're going to want to probably leave alone in case you do need our help. You could, of course, set it to whatever you want, but this is how we, we like to see it so that we can help you a little bit you know, easier. Let's say OK. Now, if we go to job options, um, the only tabs we really care about on this one are path rules. And what path rules are, SheCam is really, um, really ex um, spectacular in the respect that you can set up rules that it will alter the G code output depending on the condition of, of the geometry. So what we've done is we have a mad path rule set. Uh, you can add rules to it yourself. You could create your own. You could do whatever you want. But what we've done here is created three simple rules. On circles smaller than an inch and a quarter, we want to slow that thing down to 60% of feed. Same thing on shapes smaller than one inch. On arcs smaller than 5 eighths of an inch, we are also going to slow down the, the feed and do a couple other things here. So path rules are ways to um, tell sheet cam, I want you to do something slightly different um, than you would normally do, and that would be path rules. We'll talk about that in, in future videos. If we say OK, we are now done setting up sheet cam for our machine. We're going to talk about tools and operations in the next videos on how to load files and everything. But for right now, this is pretty much all you need to know. Hey, thanks for listening and happy cutting out there.